All right, welcome back to another Ubuntu for Dummies 2014. This is a series of videos for beginners to the Ubuntu Linux LTS operating system. As far as navigation through this, I thought about this. It's been a while since I did the last one, by the way. It's for a reason. It's for a good reason. I thought about how to proceed with this one. And uh, after much thinking, I think that you should install a piece of software right after installing Ubuntu 14.04. You should install something called the Classic Menu Indicator as you see here. I think as far as in the beginning this will help you navigate to and through your Ubuntu operating system. Now the normal way if you didn't have that installed would, would be good to go to something called a dash. You can call this the start button if you want to. And one way to find a piece of software just to start typing in the name of that piece of software. But for this tutorial let's just stick with the classic menu indicator. It is an option but I strongly suggest you install it. So you type in terminal. I, I already did. Click terminal. Okay this is going to be your terminal of course as you see here. Now Ubuntu Linux is customizable. You can change the look of this, the color, but I'll just keep it the way it is. These are the commands that you're going to use to install the classic menu indicator. Now we'll have all of this below in the show notes. Now I have already installed this. Alright, copy and paste. Password. Enter. Okay, that's the first part. The second part is to run an update. Now if you don't know what all this means, don't worry about that. Just copy and paste and you'll be fine. sudo app get update. And this shouldn't take long if you have a high speed internet. Copy and paste the last one. Now mine came up with an error. I need to check my repositories to delete something. Don't worry about that. You should not see that. But after it does the update, we're going to copy and paste the last set of instructions for the classic menu indicator. Enter. Now in my situation this is already installed. In your situation you would click uh, yes or Y to install it. And you would have then installed the classic menu indicator. You can just go to the dash and type in classic, click it and it should pop up here on the top panel bar. By the way, these panel bars pretty much remain stationary. They are not. You, you can't move them. You can add stuff to it here and here. For example, these icons, these shortcuts can be moved as you see here. But that being said, I strongly suggest you install the classic menu indicator to get started at least from the beginning. Once you know what comes installed by default in Ubuntu, then maybe you can navigate through the dash here. Maybe I'll leave that for the next tutorial. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.